Ellen, Iowa, on high alert this evening after a bomb threat prompts a district-wide evacuation. That call centered on the high school, but the district evacuated everyone in the bomb blast radius. Yeah, that included the middle and elementary schools. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl joins us live. Christina? Talking about 1,500 students, another 120 staff members. So, Superintendent of Harlem Public Schools says that they weren't going to roll the dice when it came to what they deemed to be a very credible, very real bomb threat at the high school. Now, just within the last hour, they have started to allow students as well as staff members to come back to the school and get their car and belongings. Not because that they think the threat was a hoax by any means, but they say they were able to quote secure the building. A local law enforcement won't yet tell us what, if anything, that they found inside Harlem Public High School. But Wagner says that when something this serious happens, they have to follow protocol and says, unfortunately, they've been drilling for something like this for over two years now. And he says they were able to have the school evacuated into nearby churches within just a four or five minute time frame. Uh, evacuation went uh, very smooth. Um, in fact, by the time law enforcement came up, all students and staff were gone on all, all four buildings. And so, um, from that perspective, uh, very proud of our staff and, and local uh, community and law enforcement uh, for their response. Now, the initial threat happened at about 12:30. We're told, and they dismissed school for the day at about two o'clock. At which point, they ran regular bus routes. And Wagner can't say at this point if the person who made the threat is a student or not. And also, they also aren't able to say where exactly the threat came from. And we did try to talk to local law enforcement. Been here and they tell us that they quote will likely not be able to tell us anything today but we'll continue to investigate and bring you any breaking details as we get them but again students and staff are allowed to come back to the school here and get their cars if they'd like to get them tonight because again they have deemed the building to be at least secure for now reporting live in Harlan Christina Engdahl KETV News Watch 7 the FBI